promise you that I'll look after him. And if I can, I'll return him to your care. He's my also. War Horse begins in such an idyllic, pastoral, peaceful location, and then we're quickly reminded that Steven Spielberg can make one heck of a terrifying war film. Tom and Patrick, your characters illustrate this tonal shift in a way from the idyllic to the devastating as these gentlemen officers who are swept up in the horror of World War I. Tell me about these characters and the realities of combat as they get closer and closer to realizing this is really going to happen. It was a real moment in time where the British military had won a successive series of wars through cavalry charges and the, the sheer terror and power of hundreds of horses in formation charging across a, an open field, swords and sabers flashing in the sun with the entire regiment screaming hell fury and the thunder of those hooves scared people home. And I think the, uh, the great shock of the First World War was the British Army were behind in their technology and they had no idea that the Germans had developed tanks and machine guns. One has to remember, and we reminded ourselves at the time, that these guys weren't professional soldiers. They were amateurs. Yeah, we, we decided that we knew each other from, from the county fox hunt and that we yeah. were friends from that. And, and actually, that was often the, the hierarchy of the fox hunt was transposed into the cavalry. No, no, please, don't take him back. Don't take him back until he's broken in. And how are you going to train a horse with that leg? It's a really, really beautiful, pure piece of storytelling. Mm. And that is the provenance of this via a brilliant piece of stagecraft. There's an integrity and an authority to that, which is undeniable, I think. And then bring to it the vision of a filmmaker like Stephen, who, who is the master of war. And, you know, it's a very potent combination. What I think is the great, great achievement of the film is it has all that element of family and devotion and loyalty and the relationship with the horse and everything that the book and the play have, but it does that war in a way that needs to be done because it's not like his other war movies where there is a real moral imperative. You know, we know who the good guys are. In this movie, it's pointless, pointless slaughter. What was it like to shoot in the war-ravaged no man's land in the film? It was incredible. They, they churned up two acres of land in a place called Whistley. It's an old airfield that uh, has barricades all the way down it. It was um, being misused for skid pans and all kinds of bad behavior by the local <laughs> youths. It was all consuming. So consuming, in fact, that you know, at the end of the day when you, when you went back and, and I mean, not even into the makeup trader because everybody kind of was growing a bit like they were in the trenches with us, you know, because the makeup girls were in these huge galoshes. They sure. were covered in mud, and you know, they're very elegant, beautiful women who are sort of like, Ehh! and they're patting mud on you. It's the bizarrest thing. Everyone was so sweet, but then when you when you were driving home and you saw modern cars, it that seemed alien. <laughs> Talk for a second about the horse. The oh horse. my gosh, the hey, horse gives on. a tremendous yeah. performance. So, <laughs> I was going to say, there are multiple horses involved, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, we, we know who the real stars are. <laughs> but also, you <laughs> have to talk, legs. About, talk about their handlers. I mean, that that mm. is the most extraordinary skill. The subtlety of it, you know, and, yeah. and one of the greatest privilege, f privileges uh, for me was, was to be able to be a part of that process and to get to learn from these trainers how to how to work with the animals and how to, you know, some of the young horses that came to us completely untrained and by the end of it I was able to sort of make them do things at the other end of a field. They really act in this film. Yeah, I was going to say, do they have different mm. specialties, different temperaments? Yeah, so, you know, diff one horse would be able to plough, one horse would be able to do this one big jump over a trench, one horse would, you know, different stages of, uh, of, it, of it maturing. Be brave!